Hi everybody, Jeff Dunham. And Shane, this tough of a morning till you there. So Shamies, do you know why we're here right now? I have no idea. I found another lost tape. You've been losing a lot of tapes, haven't you? Uh, it's not lost, it just means it's one that I did many years ago. What is it? Well, it's the way I opened my act for years. I have a uh, 70s mustache. Well, too bad it was the 80s. Yeah, just watch, okay? I'd like to start off this evening by telling a little story, and uh, this is a true story that happened to me not long ago. I've been a ventriloquist since I was in the second grade. Uh, I had no brothers, no sisters, so I created my own. And um, this is true. Not long ago, I was over in Paris, France, and I had this jacket with me. And over in Paris during the summer, you don't need a jacket, so I decided I wanted to do something a little different, a little more exciting with this thing, rather than just carry it around or wear it and be hot. True story. What I do before I get into the subways is take this jacket, kind of turn it inside out a little bit, stuff it with the sleeves, and give it some shape. And then just before I'd step in the subway car, I'd pick this thing up, and I'd walk in carrying it about like this, right? <coughs> so hopefully it looked like a little baby. Now, the first time I did this, the subway car was pretty crowded, and I particularly remember this one lady sitting in the back corner who was, as we say, uh, well, pleasingly plump, well, or pleasantly plump. She was fat, and uh, she smiled when I walked in, and I stood over in the corner and tried to mind my own business. Now, little babies like to be played with, but I guess when you play with them for too long, they always get a little bit tired, and that's what happened to the kids. So after a few minutes, the French lady and everybody else in the subway car heard something about like this. <laughs> Baby started crying. Now, a crying baby can be fairly annoying, and I didn't want to bother the French people any, any more than I had to. I, mean, I was already an American. So. so I tried to shut the kid up, and it went something like this. Now, I was hooking him up with that, but it doesn't work, you know? Uh, all this confused a poor child and make him sick, so I had to move on. Next, I had a pacifier. <laughs> now, baby, you'll suck on a pacifier for what? About 30 seconds, and they always get tired of it, spit it out, and you back restart it. And I don't know if the French people on this particular subway car just went real quick upstairs or what, but most of them looked like mine now that they were fully convinced to have a real little baby. The French lady was just smiling away, so I tried to egg them on a little further. <laughs> now I tried all these things, nothing worked. Kid was still crying, the French lady was still smiling, so I got kind of frustrated. I got pretty angry, and this is how I concluded the adventure with the baby. No, oh, you be quiet. Oh, you know you really make me angry when you cry. Oh, you gonna stop crying? <laughs> no, you don't stop crying when you do something drastic. No, no. Okay, you asked for it. And the French lady for <laughs>